so hello and welcome to this lesson in our study of scientific computing where we are trying to learn how to write scripts with bash so in this tutorial i'll walk you through the basics of the if statement in bash and show you how to use it in your shell scripts you know the if statement is used to make decisions when we are programming okay so it's a very very important part in our script so the first one I will show you is the simple if okay so when you are trying to write a simple if in your program so the syntax for doing that is we have you begin with if then you open um, two square brackets then you leave a space before your argument or anything that you want to type there then you have to leave another space then you close the two um, square brackets then what you want it to do so that's what we call the statement then you end it with what fee okay so let's take an example of that okay so for instance you know this is a code and what this code does is that it takes an input from a user and it tries to check whether the number is less than 10 or greater than 10 okay so you can see here it is just taking an input from a user right so if the input it takes from the user is greater than 10 then it has to print to the screen that the number is greater than 10 else it has to print that the number is less than 10 okay then we end it with the fee okay the one thing you have to know is that in our bash scripts indenting is not important okay so you can decide to indent or not to indent okay then if you want to indent you can indent with two space or four space okay so with this one i indented this with two space but if i don't indent i'll get the same result so let me illustrate this for you and see how it works so let's leave here and then let me clear so i'm coming to run this bash then the name of my script is simple if one dot sh and if i run it to ask me to enter a number so let me enter let's say six it will tell me the number is less than 10. Let's say 23 it told me the number is greater than what 10. okay so that is what it does okay so um let me come here and i told you that if we decide not to indent it doesn't do anything so let me delay the indenting okay okay and now let me save it again and run it so you see enter a number 45 say so the number is greater than 10 so in our bash script the indenting doesn't matter it's not like programming languages like python and cool where if you don't do the correct indentation you're going to have a problem with your script so now let's go to we are still on writing if statements in bash okay so let's go to when we have the if else okay i think it is the if else that we did okay so that's what we did there is the syntax for what we just did okay so let's go to when we have several of them so when you have several of them that's what we use the if elif else okay so there is the syntax for it so if then your argument then statement one elif your argument then statement two then else so there's a syntax for it so now let's explain this with a code which implements that okay so this code here okay so it's a script to interpret CWA. So 
CWA means cumulated weighted average and that's a grading system used by some universities in the world and that's what we at the Kwame Nkuma University of Science and Technology we use okay so a script to enter interpret CWA so it says enter your CWA here then th this one will read it and take it and put it inside CWA okay then here what you are trying to do is that you know interpreting you know CWA is a floating number maybe someone CWA can be 77.21 and making decisions in um, bash using floating numbers give us error okay so we can employ some ways to correct that error and what I what I'm employing is that when I take the CWA I just take the first two parts of it because you know CWA is between 100 and 0 and no one can have a CWA of 0 so that means you always have like the main part being two numbers then the rest will be what decimals okay so that is what this code here does then the rest is that if the cwa is greater than 100 then tell the person that cwa cannot be more than 100 you see the is greater than 70 tell the person that it is first class if it is greater than 60 tell the person that this is second class up and not bad so you, see, you can see how i've used this one there the elif and the rain so you can look on it and write one for your own so you can see this one is a bit complex okay so right now let me run this code So they told me to enter my CWA here. Let's say my CWA is 67.81. It is to tell me that the second class up are not bad. If my CWA is minus 19, they tell me CWA cannot be what negative. If my CWA is 12.89. To tell me not impressive at all, that is a fail. So let's see if my CWA is I'm a shark here. So let's see my CWA is ninety nine point nine. You tell me first class, keep working hard. Okay, so um that's how to be using the conditional statement in Bash. Let me see if I can have a third example here. Let's see. Okay, so I think I don't have a third example here, so that will be it for the conditional statements. Okay, you can try to write some on your own.